What's good YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you guys four freeze frame transitions inside After Effects. I'll be using similar techniques for all four of the transitions. And by the end of the video, you guys will be a lot more confident in creating these freeze frame transitions. So make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get right into it. For our first transition, I have these two clips playing from The Weeknd and Playboy Cardi's music video. And I'll be using clips from that music video for all four of the transitions. And when it comes to just zoom out or even zoom in freeze frame transitions, you want to just find something, some type of opening that you can mask out in order to create this effect and in this case we have the weekend's eye as well as his hands to zoom out of so what i'm going to do is grab that layer and i'm going to control d and duplicate that layer and make sure to freeze frame that layer so right click the layer go to time and then click freeze frame and i'm going to make this layer eight frames long use the pen tool in order to mask out his eye because that's where the zoom out transition will be happening from i'm going to be masking out the eye and in order to see that the eye has been masked out we're going to grab this layer and bring it forward from where the cut happens and just go to the beginning of that freeze frame layer click the layer and click m to reveal the mask and i'm going to change this to subtract and as you guys can see we have that freeze frame layer that's transparent and right underneath it is the clip from before i'm going to keyframe both the scale and position and bring that towards the end of that freeze frame layer and i'm going to have this scaled in a lot bigger and because i want it to zoom out from the middle i'm also going to keyframe the position as well i'm going to turn on the, the proportional grid just so that it's accurately in the middle and i'm going to have it scaled in right there and it doesn't need to be completely out of the composition because it's going to be animating in quick anyways so once you keyframe the scale and the position i'm going to grab these keyframes and i'm going to easy ease them and also make sure to turn on the motion blur and i'm going to go into our graph editor for the position and i'm going to animate in a lot faster in the beginning and also create the same graph for our scale keyframes so it animates in fast and then it ends slow and now if we play this there's that really smooth zoom out effect and transition into our next clip and in order to make this look even better what i'm going to do is grab this layer and i'm going to pre-compose the layer and make sure to click move all attributes into the new composition and i'm going to go into that layer duplicate that layer so Control d and bring that underneath because this layer is going to be the eye that's going to animate in so instead of having the mask at subtract i'm going to have it at add i'm going to keep the scale keyframes but i'm going to change the position keyframes because i'm going to have it slide from the bottom up instead of having the position as the same keyframes as the layer above i'm going to have this sliding down and now if we go back into our comp we have this smooth transition where the hands animate in and then the eye animates up so this is our final freeze frame transition animating the eye just makes it look better rather than having the eye just kind of cut in when the hand animates in moving on to the second freeze frame transition i have these two clips playing and as i mentioned before for these transitions you always want to go to the second clip and you want to find some type of important object or a focal point that you can use in order to create the transition from the first clip into the second clip so in this case i can just mask out this bandana and hat in order to create this freeze frame transition because that's our main subject for this clip and just like before we're going to grab this layer and i'm going to duplicate it Control d and i'm going to right click go to time and click freeze frame and i'm going to make this layer 12 frames long bring this forward from where the cut happens and i'm just going to add an effect called curves to this freeze frame layer because it's kind of hard to see so what i'm going to do is just bring up the values in order to really see our subject and it'll make it easier for us to mask out we are going to eventually delete this curves effect it's just here for now in order to mask out our subject i'm just going to now mask out the bandana and the hat and once we're done masking out our subject i'm going to delete the curves effect because i'm not going to need that anymore and when it comes to this transition i'm going to have the hat animating from the bottom to the up and then it comes back down i'm going to add an effect called transform and we're going to be keyframing the position as well as the scale and the rotation click the layer and if you click u that reveals the keyframes i'm going to bring those keyframes to the end i'm just going to have the position keyframe where it animates from the bottom and i also want this to rotate in a clockwise direction and i want it to rotate twice so i'm just going to keyframe this at negative two make sure the scale is at zero and right when it reaches the middle i'm going to have 
position all the way at the top just so it goes all the way towards the top and then just comes right back into the middle i'm going to grab those keyframes easy ease them and make sure to have the motion blur on and now if you play this the hat animates up and it goes towards the middle and that is our second transition so now moving into our third transition what we're going to do is grab the layer and Control d to duplicate go to time and freeze frame that layer and i'm going to make this layer six frames long make sure to bring that layer forward for more of the cut happens and i'm also going to apply the curves effect for this again just so that it's easier for me to mask because we're going to eventually delete this curves effect anyways bring up the values and now i'm going to mask out our subject once you mask out your subject make sure to delete the curves effect what we're going to do is just animate this from the bottom up so i'm just going to keyframe the position and bring that towards the end and just keyframe this as it goes down grab those keyframes easy ease them and make sure to have your motion blur on and i'm going to go into the graph editor for this one and have it animate fast in the beginning and then it just animates out slowly. It's really simple for each frame transition. Also different ways to do this where I can animate this from the left or the right. If I reset this first keyframe, just go to position and click reset. I'm going to have it animate in from the left. That can also be a clean freeze frame transition as well, or you can have it animate from the right. So this is more of a versatile freeze frame transition, and it just looks very clean when we have the subject just sliding in or just sliding up. Now, moving on to our final freeze frame transition, I'll be using these two clips, and what I'm going to do is go to the second layer and duplicate the layer and freeze frame it. And I'm going to have this layer six frames long, bring that layer forward. And for this transition, I'm going to first mask out Playboy Cardi. So just make sure to add the curves effect, bring up values. And I'm going to start out by masking out Playboy Cardi. After masking out Playboy Cardi, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And now I'm going to mask out the weekend. Make sure to click the mask and click subtract so that it reveals the weekend who we now have to mask out. After masking out my subject, make sure to get rid of the original mask. I also get rid of the curves effect for both layers because after masking out our subjects, we're not going to need the curves effect anymore. And for this transition, what I'm going to do is keyframe position as well as a skill and bring those keyframes towards the end. And I'm going to first start out by animating Playboy Cardi. And instead of animating our subject from the middle, I'm going to have Playboy Cardi animating from the left towards the middle and for the weekend I'm going to have him animating in from the right so just increase the scale all the way it doesn't have to be completely out of our composition and I'm going to grab all those keyframes and easy ease them make sure to turn on the motion blur for both layers and I'm going to just go into the graph editor and create a similar graph for all of the keyframes so it animates in fast and then animates out slow just do that for all of the keyframes playboy cardi as well And now if we play this, this is our final transition. And just like our previous transition, we can even have Playboy Cardi and The Weeknd both animating from the bottom where it just slides up instead of creating zoom out transition and just creating different types of transitions. And there are so many different types of freeze frame transitions. These are just a few freeze frame transitions that I want to show you guys. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.